This time, I will show you how to create a circular brushed aluminum metal like this, in Adobe Illustrator. Besides being able to be used as a background, or texture, this circular brushed aluminum metal can be used in metal design needs, such as product textures, or whatever design needs it is if you want to create this effect. Without further ado, let's jump into Adobe Illustrator. Here, I will create a document with RGB color mode. If you want to follow exactly as I did in this tutorial, you should use the RGB color mode, because the results can be different if you use CMYK color mode. For the size of the artboard, you can use your own size, you can make it according to your design needs. First of all, create a big circle using the ellipse tool. Press and hold the shift and alt keys on your keyboard to create a symmetrical circle with its center point on the first click. After that, open the swatches panel and give the circle the default color of this black and white gradient. Open the gradient panel and change the gradient type from linear to radial. I'll explain later why we give it a gradient color like this. After that, go to the object menu and click expand. In this expand panel, change expand gradient to gradient mesh. And just click the OK button. At first glance, it seemed that nothing had happened. But by using the expand to objects that have been given a radial gradient, the object will automatically be divided into several mesh lines or mesh objects based on the radial shape, which radial is obtained from the radial gradient given previously. OK, let's see the result. If we highlight this expanded object, a blue line will appear which is an expanded mesh or radial gradient object. If you click on it, what is selected is the basic circle that we created the first time. So actually, these are two objects, we can see them if we activate the outline view in the view menu. This is the mesh object, and this is the basic circle. And this rectangle is the artboard. Turn off the outline view back into a preview. Actually the base circle that was created first turns into a mask against the mesh object. So now we just need to remove this clipping mask object. Right click. Ungroup. Right click again. Then select release clipping mask. Delete the base circle which was the clipping mask because we don't need it anymore. Go back to the selection tool and select this circle and give it a darker gray color. Now we will modify it by adding some mesh lines. Select the Mesh tool in the toolbar. Then add some mesh lines like this. In this way, we can add lots of color to it to impress the reflection of light hitting the brushed metal surface. When finished, again select the Direct Selection tool to give color to each anchor point. Select two interconnected anchor points like this. Then open the Swatches panel and give it a lighter gray color. Do the same for the other anchor points and do it alternately. We've finished creating the impression of reflected light on the brushed metal surface. And now we just need to add a circular effect to it. But before that, I resized this circle to fill the size of the artboard so that it covers all the artboard, because my plan is only to make a circular brushed aluminum metal square. Create a circle of the same size as before. And give it a solid black color. Go to the effects menu. Texture. And grains. In the grain panel, set the intensity to zero. Contrast 100. And don't forget to set the grain type to stippled. And click OK. Go back again to the effects menu. Blur. Radial blur. Give amount with a value of 50. Blur method. Spin. And quality. Best. And click OK. It will take Illustrator a little while to do this effect, and it depends on the type of device you are using. After that, Go to the transparency panel and change the blending mode to soft light. After this loading is complete, then we will get a circular brushed aluminum metal like this. The rest, we just need to create a square for the circular brushed aluminum metal shape. Select all the objects. Right click. Make clipping masks. We can add curved corners to each corner using the Direct Selection tool. 
And now we have finished creating a circular brushed aluminum metal in Adobe Illustrator. In addition, we can make it with other geometric shapes such as circle shapes and polygon shapes. I hope this Adobe Illustrator tutorial video is very helpful and hopefully this circular brushed aluminum metal tutorial using Adobe Illustrator can be an inspiration for you. So don't forget to subscribe for those of you who are new to this channel. And don't forget to like, share, and if you have any questions, don't hesitate to ask me in the comments. See you in the next video.